Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's a very nice and bright day outside so it might be a good day to play around with some solar power. Um, okay, might be bright but uh, I don't think it's solar power day today. Wind power maybe. Yeah, we had snow again. Quite a bit of it actually. So. Someone should shovel all of this. Yeah, someone should. So instead of the bright light outside, we're gonna be playing around with the DIY dash. Not the DUI dash, which I love to call it, but um, the DIY dash. So uh, do it yourself. Um, and it's a dash, directly attached storage. So I wanna I wanna install something else on this. It's, it's at the moment it's running a very wonderful version of Windows 7 in Danish, which of course is a bloody shame to uh, to uh, to take out of there. But um, yeah, we should I just I could just swap up the drive instead. I do actually have some drives laying. I think we'll do that. We'll put one of those drives in, and then I can save this awesome version of Windows 7 in Danish which I am probably have used way too long to uh, install anyway so yeah we're gonna do that um, but I am I wanna install TrueNAS on it TrueNAS scale I believe it's called so um, I have actually I have downloaded it here uh, TrueNAS scale and I, I took the latest and the I don't know if it's the greatest, it's the beta, but uh, we're testing, so um, it should be good. Um, it does say that it needs eight gigabytes of RAM, so um, I might need to um, to upgrade that while we have the awesome tiny Lenovo PC apart anyway. And I have already uh, run it through uh, Rufus, and I have put it on a USB key down here, so we can take that out. So, all right, this. Remember that. So let's go put in another drive. So my um, good Windows 7 here is actually complaining about one of the drives. Uh, F. It's not happy with that one. So we should replace that. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna shut this off. There. And it's gonna turn off. Oh, there's updates for it. Oh, it really shouldn't have. Well, I guess we have time for that. So as I might need another four gigabytes of memory to get up to eight, I was just looking in this machine that I had laying around in here in the living room if um, if I was lucky, but there's only one four gigabyte block in here. So yeah, it uh, wouldn't help me much. It, I could do it, but I do have another couple of four gigabyte blocks there that might just do it. So. We're gonna try those first, and if that's a total fail, we might have to steal this one. Um, I do have some more machines of this type, but they're all in the bunker, and the bunker is, well, it's kind of snowed in right now. Plus, there's a lot of water uh, on top of it, so, um, yeah. We're gonna try what we have inside first. The machine is off. I'll turn the, I'll turn the dash off as well. The DIY dash. So yeah, I get a lot of complaints. I have said it wrong so many times. So uh, I'm trying to at least make it even. DIY dash. Oh, and it's still powered. So we'll just turn power off here and we'll open this up. Whoops, don't lose the screw. And do a little bit of cleaning. It has a pretty uh, slow Intel processor inside. I have not upgraded this at any point. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's original, which means slow. Uh, which also means that the case is on there really well. So, the, oh, I have actually put an SSD in here. Uh, so that is one of my upgrades so we're gonna upgrade that again so we need to get in here 
uh, it's just a it's an IBM SSD this is one of the first ones that I got my hands on they it's the first I believe this was the first SSD that I could buy for an IBM slash Lenovo server that was actually cheaper than getting a spinning disk um, it didn't last long uh, suddenly they were too expensive again but at some point in time it was cheaper to get one of these than a 142 gigabytes of, um, of other drive so we have an, an original uh, RAM block there which I uh, just had the other one open and it was exactly the same so this is a uh, it's a 4 gigabyte 1R and this is a 2R8 so they might not mix and what is this this is also a Lenovo 2R so these two might work and this one might not work so let's try and put those two in this has a Lenovo sticker it would have been very nice if they had put that on the other side <laughs> Yeah, I'm violating the warranty here for sure. So let's see this one and oh, they're not the same. Oh yeah, they are. Let's give it a go. I'll pop those in, see if we uh, get to eight gigabytes. Might actually be stupid to take the drive out until I know if the RAM works. Yeah, that, that's stupid. So let's keep that in for a little bit until we uh, we know if we have eight gigabytes. I'll test that. You don't have to uh, bother with that. It's gonna be boring. Okay, it's not boring. Well, it's not working either. Okay, I have one more that I found in the data center. And I think. This came out of a Lenovo. I, uh, my student borrowed some of these at a, for a project for his exam thing. And I believe that this one came out of, what is this? Oh, I bought, somewhere I have two eights in the, in, the, in the bunker in a machine. And this one came out of it. Ah. So I think this will work together with the original one, which is the top the top heavy one here so these two should be alike uh, and it's the they should be exactly the same oh they're not exactly the same oh dang it I hope let's cross our fingers and 8 gigabytes is absolutely minimum for true NAS apparently They recommend twice. So, okay, let's see. Power on. Power on. It is running. Mm -hmm. uh, Windows is starting. So, I'm just gonna scoop in, check. Oh, well, our updates is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we didn't reboot it, so uh, updates was ready for us. It does look promising. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Eight gigabyte of RAM. Awesome. We're good to go. Let's shut this down and replace the drive. So we'll remove power again and we'll take the drive out. I do not like the cables in these, they're too thin for my liking. Feels like you're gonna break them just by looking at them, but no, still good I guess. So I'm just gonna put this drive in instead of that drive. And we have, an, we have a good, I have written okay on this, so we have a good drive to, uh, to play around with.
there we are we have this Hewlett Packard drive that has come out of a drive uh, that has come out of a server where it claimed to be not good and we tested it in the last video and it wasn't too bad so have I put this yeah that's okay so let's put that back in oh okay it's it has its rubber feet and they they can give a little bit to fit into some slots here. And a One of my favorite screwdrivers is broken. This thing, it's pretty brilliant. You can you can turn it around so you have a flat head on, on one side and you have a Phillips head on the other side. And there used to be a locking mechanism. But when I've been sitting here waiting for progress bars, I've been playing with it. And uh, which means that it had a ball bearing in here to hold this in place. So now, yeah, it's broken. I'm pretty, pretty pissed at myself for that. I guess there's not much to do. I got, it was in a package with a solar charge controller. I'm not gonna use a thousand Danish crowns for a, another solar charge controller to get a new screwdriver. But yeah, that's a, that's a shame. I like that screwdriver. So we have the drive in, and we're gonna put, oh, put the top back on. There. So there shouldn't be anything on that drive. So we should be good to go to install the TrueNAS. I have never installed TrueNAS in my life. I, uh, way, way, way back before I started YouTube, I installed FreeNAS, and I had a FreeNAS running on my uh, on my VMware for for not not that long but i did have free nas running and then in 2011 i purchased my first synology box and that uh, replaced my free nas so i haven't been using free nas since 2011. Uh, i still have the virtual machine though but yeah let's see uh, we need some power on this and we need to hope that it it wanna boot from there it might not do that in the first go. Well, let's see. Might get lucky. Yeah, it's not exactly finding anything to boot on, so it's trying to boot from the network. Can we escape that? We can. May I suggest the USB drive? Do wonder what that is. We need to check out the BIOS here. Maybe go and tell it where to boot from. Startup. That's a good place to start. Primary sequence. We have the hard drive. Then we have the network. Then we have a, um, a USB key. So we might want to boot. Might want to move that up. There. USB key and top. Good. Then we need to. Save and exit, that's F10. Hit it. Let's hope for the best. Let's see what it does now. If it's just, yeah, okay. Well, that's better. We can install um, slow mode. Okay, we're just gonna pick the first one. I think that's the right one. There. So what do you need of information from me? And are you gonna find all my weird stuff? I'm gonna turn the dash on again so that it might. Oh, that card is on its side. That's not great. Oh. Boot failed. This live system image failed to boot. Huh. That didn't last long. Gonna try that again. And it failed to boot. That might be an extremely short video. Okay, I went in and I downloaded the, the earlier version, the stable one. And that does actually get a little bit further than the other one. So uh, we're going to try this install thing. See if it, uh, if it wants to play with me. Oh, it did. Oh, 
It has figured out that I have a lot of drives. That is so true. So, install to a drive. Yes. But which one? I think it's the top one. That is uh, that one. Can we pick more than one? We can. Hmm. Ah, multiple drives can be for redundancy. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do. Um, we're just gonna do the top one then. <laughs> okay. We don't have mouse support. So. Okay. And it will erase everything. Installing on SATA, SAS, or NVMe is recommended. Okay, we are installing on SATA. Okay. I have no idea, but it's not recommended to use the route root user. Okay, we're gonna try that one. If it fucks up, we're gonna redo it. I need to uh, give it a password. We shall do that. There. Creating 16 gigabyte swap petition on boot device. Yes, do that. Allow iffy boot for a system with new. Uh, we don't have that. Enter no when system requires legacy. I think this is old. Okay, and it's complaining down here. And uh, it failed. Okay, let's try that again. I went back and I selected the iffy boot. So maybe that's better. It's doing something different at least. It's extracting stuff. So uh, yeah, I think um, I might have um, underestimated the the old Lenovo here. Uh, so yeah, it's um, at 10% extracting. So it's doing something, which is better than not doing anything, I guess. <laughs> oh. I still have this hand sanitizer sitting around here. Uh, when the Corona crisis started, I thought that it would be a marvelous idea to do a video on how to produce your own hand sanitizer. So I made this from scratch. So, um, or scratch and scratch. I got the components. That was when it was impossible to get a hand sanitizer. That uh, that solved itself. Still good. It's running out to tune. <laughs> I can't sing, but um, well, it might help me there. Okay, that took a bit, so now I can. Um, it, success! So uh, <laughs> we should end the video here before uh, I ruin it again. Please reboot and remove the installation media. We will do that. We will reboot system. Let's see what happens. It's probably now that I ruin everything and it won't boot and... Nope, it seems to be good. Does it start by itself? It does. Blah 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 I am very curious if it's gonna find my HBA card and all the drives, which it actually did under the installation, but will it do it when we need it to? That's, um... Mm. A lot of stuff is happening down here. Seems to have found a network card, one gigabit. Uh, there we are. So now we can catch it here at number 13. And uh, we can do some other stuff. We can do some network configuration. There is only that one network card in here. So uh, the possibilities are limited. We could probably change the IP number. Might need to do that at some point. So the interface looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can get that. So uh, let's see if it 
for plies on number 13. Yep, it does. So I should be admin. Admin and the password that we gave it. Yeah. Save, yeah, let's save that. Oh, the dashboard looks about right. So, memory. Yeah, it's gonna run out of that cache really soon. That set ZFS really likes memory cache. So when we're gonna be adding, check for upgrades, updates. Let's do that. Okay, no updates available. We can pick uh, if we want the beta thing. But well, we didn't have much luck with that, so we're gonna keep with this thing. Storage. We need to probably go in there and create some pools. Can we see disks? What do you see? Oh, it sees my disks. That's nice. Let's see, it sees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten terabytes. And then it sees three. 300 gigabytes it should see more out of 12 can we we can see 25 then it sees everything <laughs> so we have those four drives which are the two and a half inch hard drives in the diy dash and then we have our boot drive boot boot pool there so i think we should do something with the 10 terabytes uh, the 70 terabyte that we have in here so we should probably go back to um, import pool no create pool yes create pool uh, we are gonna call it well, what are we gonna call it true store okay uh, encrypt nah next yeah layout we need Oh, we need our security level here, so we can we can run a mirror striped. Um, no security whatsoever. These are kind of dutchy drives, so that's a really bad uh, option. Uh, so we can run. I need to read. There, it does give some help, but I need to read that small text out there. So I'm thinking about using uh, this with two drives uh, safety because of the dutchy drives in there. And it says that rate set two is, uh, well, we have two drive parity and it's, um, it's better than D rate for small setups and uh, small, more simple setups. Plus it's better for small files and the D rate two down here is uh, is better for big setups, but worse with small files. But it's better for handling large capacity drives and extensive disk environment for enhanced performance. I think that's the one that might, those ten terabytes and seventy terabytes might run into the to the big thing. So, um, but now we need to pick our disks and we're gonna, it sees our 9.1 terabytes, 10 terabyte drives down here, there. Does it pick all of them? Might. Hot spares, none. Children, seven. So that might be all the, the disks and number of something. We can only pick one, so at least one spare is recommended for cannot be added later. Eh, that sucks. That means that out of seven drives, I really only have four drives. And why can't it be at least one spare is recommended for spares cannot be added later. Okay, there's uh, one more point for hardware raid right there. It does tell us out here what we get out of it. So um, I changed it to a D raid one and that gives me 45 terabytes there. So if we do the two, uh, <laughs> 
it didn't change anything. Eh, that's weird. Total raw capacity. We should have more than that. Let's try that one. Okay, so there we get more disk space. Okay, I changed my mind. I think this um, RAID set one. Uh, RAID set two is gonna be the thing. That gives us about 50 terabytes. I'm gonna pop in another, some drives as soon as I get them. And at the moment we're just testing. I would not be surprised if I changed my mind and we uh, changed this at some point. Cache. Oh, we can select cache disks. Hmm. I do have two cache disks or SSDs in here, 300 gigabyte SSDs. And um, they, they turn up as 200 and about 80 gigabytes here. On top of that, there is two old laptop spinning disks. Uh, we're not gonna use those, but I think let's just add a cast disk just for fun and giggles So we're gonna add that SSD there With We can add both of them Doesn't matter. Yep, nope, we're gonna we're gonna try this next meter days, okay Save and go to review Create pool. Okay. It will delete everything. I know, I know, I know. Go, go, get it. I'm sure I'm doing everything wrong, so please leave that in the comments where I totally messed up and should have done something differently. It's doing something. Ah, okay. Unassigned disks, two. Okay, so we might, let's do something with those two crap drives. They're really crappy, so. Great pool. Uh, crap disk. Next. Layout, mirror. Those drives. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, and uh, create pool, so. We'll delete everything on those as well. So we're just gonna mirror those two crap drives. So we get uh, we get a large drive and we get a small 300 gigabyte-ish crap. Kind of a temp drive, I guess. Might get rid of those at some point. So there we are. Um, So we have 42 terabytes available here, and we have 288 gigabytes available there. So now I could go and make some shares. So, oh, it can do, it can do Windows shares, it can do Unix shares, and it can do block shares, iSCSI. So we could make an iSCSI thing here. So, yeah. Um, I think, I think we're good. So here it is. Um, kind of been a long journey. The tiny Lenovo PC with an external PCI Express port. Um, X1 actually, with a um, HPA card on top of it that is connected to the DIY dash over here that we have created, which has a SAS expander on top here that gives us access to all of those drives you can see the cable goes from here down to the pc and then all the drives in here there are seven 10 terabytes and in the front of the machine over here behind door number one we have some um, some two and a half inch drives up here and there are two ssds and there are two crap drives <laughs> so yeah we're getting there there is room for expansion. We um, have room for something here. So, hmm. But this is where I'm gonna end it because I haven't messed around with TrueNAS ever. It was called FreeNAS and I see that they have ever so slightly improved on the user interface since 2010-ish. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you have been messing around with TrueNAS and can tell me all the good stuff that it can do 
plus all the bad stuff that I just did and should redo and I am open to suggestions on that regard because I probably messed up the drives and stuff and shouldn't have put in two SSDs or something something do let me know in the comments below and other than that uh, just thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again remember to give this video a like if you thought that I didn't screw up totally if um, if you did think that I screwed up totally press the like button if you like me to improve on that have a nice day. Bye-bye.